So we just need now to go to releasing and rejecting. So we are almost done with the code. This is actually the last part, guys, I promise. So subscriber, workflow, response handling, on release document. Whoa. So on release document, we just need to reopen. We are getting the record ref and if it's handled, again, we will do our daily ritual of having our record ref. Uh, the record, custom, We will, of course, set it from the table, but after confirming, number of begin, and here as well here, we can still have the case here. The record ref dot number to make sure that we have the right thing so that if it's the database, custom workflow header we basically will be able to do that to make sure that we don't get an error when we are setting the table as well as here then database Custom workflow header, begin and we'll just now set our table. And now, at this point, we need to release. So the custom workflow header dot validate. Status, custom, dot status, approved or released, custom, modified. I think we shall be done. We should be done. So, no, on, okay, we are only, only one thing, the reject, the last one. <laughs> I almost forgot. So, we have now modified the status to approve. We are just handling the events. So in the workflows, get used to handling events. You're handling events. You'll create, uh, you can do some practice of handling events. It's so easy. It's not tough. The moment you get used to it, to event subscribers, again, another subscriber will be now for the workflow. Okay, approvals management on reject approval request but for these ones don't really cram where should it should be that's why we are, we are having this class so you can mirror this code and do your own if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one